In this video, I will connect this iPad OS 26 to external display and then we will see what are the changes that now it come up with. As we know, iPad OS come up with better multitasking and tiling feature. I really want to see how specifically these two features look like in a bigger display. So here you can see I have connected my iPad with this Logitech Pebble keyboard and if somebody would like to buy this particular one then please do check out the video that I have created about Pebble keyboard with iPad. Okay so now um, here is the connection part so all I have here is a Dell connector which comes with USB so that I can also connect my mouse and then this is SDMI so let me put it inside so that I can connect okay so seems like connected now i think okay so here we can see it also shows stays manager and my monitor itself detected sometime we require to select uh, input from monitor but here this was not the case and i actually also would have utilized my mac mini but i do not want it to okay so here is how it looked like now let me actually quickly open an app or maybe I'm gonna place it on another screen but before that let's also do some customization or settings okay so here we go here we have got these different different options like how we would like to use our screen so if you just want to duplicate your iPad press screen mirroring now you're gonna see same thing in both screen but that's not how I guess you know the screen most of people prefer so i'm gonna go with second option which is external display and now after doing that i guess the another thing that we need to do is arrangement like how i would like to arrange this so let me actually place my ipad below and then this dell screen above just like right now how it is i mean you can configure it based on the way you want now let's hit set okay so let me actually do that here if i open let's say notes okay so it opened here only and then um here is how it look and i was just seeing the capability of this new 3d graph which is really awesome i mean we tried and it worked if you want to see you know how it works then again i have added a video about it in this channel so this is how the notes look and really the good part is uh, you can see this menu on the top which kind of give you a very a desktop like feeling that's really nice and then yeah so just the placement of these three options is here and let me also place it to one side if that work tiling option work or not okay so it will not like this maybe I have turned off stage manager that's why okay again I turned stage manager on now if, if i threw it here okay so when we turn on stage manager you just you know simply throw the application it will be there only okay now let me open another one and this one also let me throw it here and there we go so and apart from that i guess we can do many other things for example uh, you know the tiling option where you can basically open multiple apps so it is working it is working nice so i would say overall the experience with external monitor uh, with ipad really improved and let me do one thing now i'm gonna put my this monitor in in portrait mode okay so it became like this giant screen okay now what i'm gonna do here is i will go down extended display and let me see if i have an option of rotating the screen or maybe here we have okay so let me figure it out if i can from here okay so here also in monitor setting it is not available i was expecting you know if this particular feature which is extended display gives us option to rotate the screen so that i can also utilize my monitor when you know if i would like to use it in portrait mode so that's not the possibility right now but still i would say i am quite happy 
the way the multitasking became and yeah i mean it feels better now but uh, i don't know why maybe because this is still developer beta i mean i am feeling a little bit of lag when i am trying to move these apps and that may be because of the amount of animation here is being used are insane i mean i mean yeah that they're going to consume a lot of graphic power so let me also open um another apps for example uh microsoft word it looks like almost desktop like experience and together with copilot it will really uh, enhance the experience but uh, still this is ipad specific okay so if i make it landscape okay this is just the page will move not the whole screen so do let us know if you know how we can rotate this now let let's also try some of another app and there is one more thing seems like there are a lot of bugs in this developer preview so right now <laughs> it seems like the dock is gone so i need to search for manually for the app so let me look for app store okay app store is now full screen looks quite nice okay let me open notability okay wow so everything look good everything look good and nice yeah so definitely there is good improvement i would say in terms of utilization of external display and then the way the tiling function as well as improved stage manager and the addition of menu on the top they really have improved the overall look and feel of it let me also open good notes seems like i need to log in again but the good thing here is you know we are getting full screen okay so it seems like you know you also can receive calls but the problem here is everything is quite buggy as of now but i am quite impressed i would say and then apple is moving in right direction for ipad os i am pretty excited for the newer release which will be more stable to work with and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you now got good insight of how we can utilize external display and what are the improvement now ipad os come up with do let us know what are your opinion and feedback in comment down below and if there is anything that i specifically should cover also let me know i will for sure uh, try to check that and i will give you my feedback on that make sure you subscribe to ipad essential to follow more such tips tricks and tutorial related to ipad and ipad productivity and i will see you around